the day here at the Downs. Maiden Claimers on a fast track goes six furlongs from the rail. True to color, seven to two, the fly of a board. Regal Rusi, nine to five, was my selection with Ronnie Allen Jr. out of the five hole and blue bubble. Wait a minute, that's bubble blue coming from the outside here. Delahosey at seven to two, load them up, let them rip in the opener. They're all in line. They're on. River Express gets the early lead. Regal Rusi into second on the inside is True to Colors. Roller Skate is fourth. Bubble Blue fifth on the outside. AF Symphony is sixth. The gap of five. Raisin Toast is seventh. Chris Kaz Sheik is next, followed by Lady Woodgate. Around the far turn, River Express has the lead by five. Regal Rusi is next. Bubble Blue up into third. True to Colors fourth. Four lengths back to Roller Skate. Then AF Symphony. Past the quarter pole, it's River Express with the lead, but here comes Bubble Blue. Up on the outside to challenge. Five lengths back is Regal Rusi. Bubble Blue takes over the lead. River Express back to second, then Regal Rusi and AF Symphony. It's Bubble Blue, and she's going easily. Bubble Blue under the wire of the winner here. Danny Delahosey in the irons for Wilson Brown. Time of the race, 112 flat. The Mutuals. The nine horse wins it. Bubble Blue, Wilson Brown, Danny Delahosey. 980, 540, and 380. The four horse runs second. River Express, Rodney Trader, $6 in 420. And the eight horse, AF Symphony with EA Gomez, returns $4.40 in the bottom. Second event of the afternoon here. We're going to go one mile. Claimers, Tom Mason, the rail here. At nine to two, five to one shot doing dishes got good play. Sand Creek Cab is when they had to beat Red Hot Chris Valovich four to five. Out of the three hole, Terry Ann, an old favorite with Mike Smith, another old favorite, comes from the outside. Here they come in the second half of the double, Tony. They're all in line. They're off. Sand Creek Cab gets the lead. Canadian Mist on the outside is next, then comes doing dishes as the field goes into the first turn. Canadian Mist has the lead. Sand Creek Cab on the inside. Terry Ann has moved up. Then it's a gap of three to doing dishes. Now fourth, Free Irish. Next racing fifth and Tom Mace is sixth. Down the back stretch, and Canadian Mist has the lead by two and a half. Terry Ann is next. Sand Creek Cab in third, and Free Irish is fourth. Doing Dishes next, and Tom Mace continues sixth as they pass the half. Into the far turn now, Canadian Mist. In front by a length, Terry Ann next. Sand Creek Cab up on the outside. Five lengths back to Free Irish. On the inside is Doing Dishes, and Tom Mace now begins to move up. Sand Creek Cab has gotten to the front. Free Irish up on the outside. Terry Ann is next, and Tom Mace. And down the stretch, Sand Creek Cab by four. Free Irish is second. Tom Mace on the outside, then Terry Ann. It's Sand Creek Cab by six. Now, Free Irish is next. Sand Creek Cab going easily. Under the wire, the winner here won 39 and through the time. Sand Creek Cab. The payoffs. Sand Creek Cab, written by Chris Valovich today. 360, 280, and 220. The five horse, Free Irish, runs second, EA Gomez. 440 and 280 in the rail horse. Tom Mace, Daryl Montoya, 280 on the bottom. Nine, three, daily double, blue bubble. And the three horse Sand Creek Cab returned $19.60. Exact in the second race, selected today by the Dark Man in the Star Tribune newspaper, The Free World, 35 cents. And 
What a bargain. 3-5, Sand Creek Cab, Free Irish, returns $21 even, and we'll be right back after this very Chad first. Mallum, trained entry, sent off at 3-1, to one, the favorite, number five, Ravens Dora. Dino aboard, six furlongs, here's the call. They're all in line. They're off. Find the money. Goes for the early lead. Raging Amber. Quickly up on the inside. Opening letter on the outside is next as they move down the back stretch. Raging Amber on the inside. Opening letter. Hula Song up in between them. Then find the money in fourth. The gap of five to Ravens Dorna. Racing fifth. Mom's Ring is sixth. And bask in the wind. Round the far turn, opening letter. Out from the rail in front by a length. Hula Song is second. A gap of five back to find the money. Ravens Dorna up on the outside, then Raging Amber followed by Bask in the wind. Top of the stretch, opening letter on the outside. On the inside is Hula Song, a gap of four. Ravens Dorna gains and bask in the wind find the money also right there it's opening letter with the lead here comes ravens Dorna on the outside and bask in the wind ravens Dorna. number five ravens dora gets up for dean coots here the six for a long time 112 and two ravens dora returned 580 320 and 240. number one bask in the wind part of the entry second 360 and 240 and number six opening letter was third and paid 260. The exactor was five and one, that paid $20.40. There were two claims out of the third race, number two, Raging Amber, Doug Oliver took that one, and Martin Kenny took number five, Raven's Door, the winner. Okay, on to race number four, start of the pick six. Compact field of six in here, four and one out furlongs. Two-year-old maiden fillies, Grinnell was four to five. Here's the call. They're on. And Grinnell gets the lead. Just a darn moment right alongside. Pink Shampoo is third. Bart's Thunderbolt fourth and Silly Wonder on the outside fifth. High Service is sixth. By the three-eighth pole, Grinnell in front by a length and a half. Just a darn moment on the outside. Pink Shampoo at the rail. Four lengths back. Silly Wonder in fourth. Then comes High Service and Bart's Thunderbolt. Down the stretch, Grinnell has the lead. Just a darn moment on the outside. Pink Shampoo right there in tight quarters between them. Forced to go to the inside now at the 16th pole. Just a darn moment on the outside, Grinnell and Pink Shampoo. Grinnell has it in that with just a darn moment coming on. Tight quarters, some bumping in the stretch there. The Stewards disqualified number three, Grinnell, and placed him third. The winner was number four, just a darn moment, Walter Arona up, eight twenty four dollars and two eighty. Number two, Pink Shampoo, interfered with in the stretch, was placed second, seven sixty and three forty. Number three, Grinnell, was placed third and paid two forty. Race number five had a field of eleven Minnesota breads. Number two. Silent Monarch, a long shot was scratched. The top horse, George Owens, was the even money favorite. Seven and one half furlongs on the aisle can turf. Let's pick him up at the gate. They're off. From between horses, Beastly Bay goes for the early lead. Jima's turn is next. George Owens at the rail. Toby's pocket is next as they move into the first turn. Jima's turn as the lead by three lengths. George Owens at the rail. Beastly Bay on the outside in third. Then comes Sheriff Tip racing in fourth. Return a winner is fifth on the outside. Toby's pocket has dropped back. Then comes Barbadorn at the rail. Run Dusty Sun, Sling Fling, Lord Caster. And Halo's New Moon is the trailer into the far turn. 
Jima's turn now has it by four and a half. George Owens maintaining second. Beastly Bay is next. Sheriff Tip is fourth. And Run Dusty's son up on the inside, picking up horses now, followed by Toby's pocket. At the top of the straight, Jima's turn in front by two and a half. George Owens on the outside now to challenge. Beastly Bay is next at the furlong pole. Here comes George. Jima's turn on the inside. Four lengths back. A late run by Toby's pocket. It's George Owens with the lead in front. The favorite George Owens, trained by Joy Rusum of Camden, South Carolina. Rick Evans picking up the win. George went the seven and a half in 130 and one. The winner paid $423 and $3. Number five, Jima's turn, 660 and 640. Number six, Beastly Bay was third and paid 920. One in five, the exact numbers, $40 and 80 cents. First race in the Daily Triple race, number six. We had a field of 11 in here. The program man went for number four, Miss Andre. Bet down to two to one, and let's pick them up at the gate. They're all in line. They're all. Drone Roan on the outside for the lead. Diablo Champ moves up as well. Towards the inside is Active Investor. Lion Charger also right there. And Miss Andre in between horses. Down the back stretch, Miss Andre Lion Charger, active investor on the inside. Then comes Della Van. Drone Roan up on the outside, and Sleek One is also right there. Six of them gang up for the lead, but active investor leads it three parts of a length. Drone Roan on the outside, Sleek One, and Lion Charger right there. Four of them heads apart. Then comes Della Van. And Miss Andre is next. Top of the stretch, Drone Roan from the outside. Has it by a half now. Sleek one is next, active investor. Delavan on the outside, then Lion Charger, they're in the final eight. Drone Roan on the outside, Sleek one on the inside, three lengths back is Delavan. Drone Roan. Number nine, Drone Roan, Danny Delahousse. A nice job to get his second win of the day. One seventeen and four for the six and a half furlongs. The winner returned 560, 360, and 280. Number seven, Sleek One was second, 580 and 460. Number six, Delavan was third and paid 580 to show. Race number seven had a field of 11 going six furlongs. Phillies and mares, $7,500 claimers. Program selection number three, Houston Express. But number six, Mrs. Worthington bet down to six to five with Cindy Springman aboard. Three quarters of a mile, here's the call. They're all in line. They're on. Mysterious ways on the outside for the lead, longingly. Now moves up, Hobo's Princess on the inside in third, Ocala Searcher. At the rail is next in summertime, Gale has moved up, down the back stretch. Longingly has the lead. Hobo's Princess at the rail in second, summertime, Gale is third, Mysterious Way is fourth, and Mrs. Worthington is fifth. Ruling Rose up sixth on the outside, Frosty Peach is seventh, Ocala Searcher eighth, Houston Express is ninth and Howard's girl and jump to game. Longingly has the lead by two and a half. Hobo's princess on the inside. Summertime Gale is third. Mysterious ways. And then ruling Rose. Down the stretch. Longingly by three lengths. Summertime Gale is dropping back. Far outside misses Worthington gains. Jump to game is moved up on the inside. It's Longingly with the lead. Summer Time Gale on the outside. Summer Time Gale. Number eight, Summer Time Gale. Vicki Warhol up, just getting up at the wire. 112 and three. The winner paid 1780, 740 and 520. 
Number five, longingly a neck back in second, 6.20 and 4.40. Number two, jumped a game, a late run at the rail, 7.20 to show. The exactor was eight and five, that worth $81.40. Race number eight, the Don Riley Handicap, Phillies and Mares, six and a half furlongs, $50,000 in added money here. The program selection, number seven, at Tensick. Well-balanced field, Tensick went off at five to two. Let's pick him up at the gate. They're all in line. They're off in the Don Riley handicap. Orphan kissed on the outside for the lead. Lil Preppy from between horses moves up. Special victory, Castle Lass and Primrose Lane as they leave the chute. Castle Lass has the lead by a half. Special victory. On the outside, on the inside is Primrose Lane. Hoister flag is moved up, then comes Little Preppy, followed by At Tensick. Orphan kissed on the outside, Stats Missy, Walkin' Tonka is ninth. Castle Lass on the inside, Oyster flag. Lil Preppy in third, Orphan Kissed on the outside, and Stats Missy has gained ground. Down the stretch, Hoister Flag, Castle Lass on the inside, Lil Preppy is next, Orphan Kissed up on the outside, and Stats Missy, Hoist Her Flag has the lead. Castle Lass is next, then Orphan Kissed. It's Hoist Her Flag in front. The big roan mare number four, Hoister Flag. Ronnie Allen Jr. up 115 and one for the six and a half. Hoister Flag returns 780, 420 and three dollars. Number two, Castle Lass 460 and 440. Number eight, Orphan Kissed was third and paid 560. Four to exact, uh, 55 dollars and 40 cents. Daily triple today. The numbers were nine, eight, and four. That was worth $341.20. I'll be right back with the finale. Allergen was scratched. Manny Ortiz picked up the mound on the one horse, Eastern Raja. The program selection was number 10, Prominent Position. And the folks like Prominent Position went off at 7 to 5, a flat mile. Here's the call. They're all in line. They're all. First shooter for the lead. Man of straw in prominent position up on the outside as they move to the first turn. Prominent position from the outside has gotten to the lead now by two and a half. Eastern Raja at the rail into second. First shooter is now third. Three off the lead followed by Man of Straw racing in fourth. Another three lengths back. Curl out is fifth by half. French Express back to sixth and Brevik is seventh. Four lengths back is full pole. And Jolly Giant is ninth. Approaching the half. Prominent position has the lead by a length and a half. Eastern Raja next. Three lengths back is first shooter in third. At the rail is curl out in fourth. French Express now into fifth and Man of Straw is sixth. Then full pull Brevik and Jolly Giant. It's prominent position. Maintaining his lead by two and a half. Eastern Raja is next. Curl out. And down the stretch. Prominent position has the lead. Curl out. Gains. And here comes Curl out to challenge and take the lead. Prominent position drops back. On the inside is Full Pull. It's Curl Out with the lead and Full Pull at the rail. Number two, Curl Out, Mike Smith aboard, winning the night cap, 138 and three for the mile. Curl Out, returned 1120, 460 and 340. Number six, Full Pull was second, 520 and three dollars. Number eight, French Express, three dollars, 40 cents to show. The exact at two and six, $41 and 80 cents. 
in the pick six. Nobody had six of six. There were 21 tickets with five of six. There you see the numbers four, one, nine, eight, four, and two. Five of six was worth $888.40. Carry over for tomorrow. Can everybody Oaks Day, $30,000. On his money is third by ahead. Shockaby nine on the outside. Then comes fling it at him as they approach the half mile pole. Mr. Moore White in front by a length and a half. Crack the gate, shock B9 up on the outside, fling it at him. In fourth, Samurai Sunrise fifth on his money is sixth, followed by Cabrini Jubilance and Lost Feisty. Mr. Moore White has the lead. Shock P9 on the outside, crack the gate, fling it at him is fourth. And turning for home, Mr. Moore White in front by three. Shaka P9 is next. Crack the gate on the inside. Fling it.